hello and welcome to my channel y'all please like share and subscribe if you liked this video and thanks for watching thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in thank y'all so much i appreciate you all um this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not let's get to it y'all my um fair use is in my description box and my information, if you would like to send me, you know, an email or IG, whatever, it's in my description box, y'all. Okay. Um, first off, had to get my glasses so I could read to y'all. <laughs> anyway, y'all, um, people been going back and forth with me about key glock, y'all. Um, people were thinking that, you know. How in the world could Dallas have any ties to this? I've been saying this. I've been saying that they have ties. So I want to, you know, go over a few posts with you all as to why I think Key Glock was the person, okay, allegedly, that helped set up golf, y'all. I'm telling y'all. You know, people are saying that, you know, Key Glock didn't do it. Some people saying he did. Key Glock got... Is in a, you know, he's in a class of his own. And he is just like the snakes that were surrounded around Mo3. Okay? So let's get to some posts. Okay, so this is, let me get my picture in here, y'all. So this is, you know, Nooski, y'all. Okay? This is Nooski, the one that was taken out last night. Okay, y'all? Now, I just want you to look at his post. Okay? And he talking about he gonna, you know, take from people the whole city if, you know, he can't get rich. And he says, you know, I'm making, I'm money making. Wait a minute. Let me read this again. He gonna take from the whole city if I can't get rich. I'm a money making nigga. I am going. He ain't going out like Mitch. So, you know, that's a lie because he just went out like Mitch. Okay, y'all. Um, so that's his post. And as you can see, it's like bad money bag yo. Of course, that's his artist. You know, he got his back. So, of course, you know, that's a normal post for you know guys like this and you know people that support them okay so let's keep going let's go to the next post so that's a normal thing for that okay now this next post is new ski again november 28 2021 white haven tennessee where he got taken out at white haven okay right at home okay so this post is liked by straight drop okay so so this is how dumb they are okay y'all you get all these posts put your locations on there so all the ops gotta do is sit back and wait for you to come to you know where you posted from before they know you're gonna make an appearance sooner or later okay so of course this is liked by straight drop okay they all hang together same click okay so is it a wonder that you know Nooski gets taken out and he's tied to straight drop and straight drop is locked up for Dolph allegedly right now y'all okay so we understand okay this post right here okay so let's keep going let's keep going and I want y'all to pay attention before I move on pay attention to the outfit he looks as almost, you know, the camouflage. You know, they trying to be funny to me, if you ask me. They be trying to be funny. Because, you know, Dolph is about the camouflage stuff. So, you know, they all got they and they go straight drop. You know, they love the camouflage when they want to, you know, tease Dolph. That's what I get from that. Now, this post right here is from January 1st. Okay, and this is new ski again. He's posting. Okay. They love to post with they, you know, they little blood money. They love to post with it, okay? So, I want y'all to look at this post right here. Who is this liked by, y'all? Now, the other two posts, 
it's normal. It's understandable. But why is Key Glock, that's supposed to be tied to, you know, Dolph, why is he liking, you know, the people that don't like Dolph? Why is he liking their posts, y'all? Okay, remember what I told y'all about Mo3? People was liking posts of, you know, trap and all this stuff when Mo3 was taken out. And, you know, say no to brain cells, defended these people. All the people that was liking Mo3 being taken out and partying, he was defending them. This is what I tell you about this circle of bullcrap. People think that they can keep going on. You know, you might be making money off of all of the views that's coming in, you know, from the people that's listening to you laugh about, you know, people that's clearly involved in cases. And you are trying to protect them. And you got all these people following you and this and that. Are those people going to be there when, you know, the people you're taking up for their ops running to you? Are they going to be there then? You know, this is the thing that people, they fail to realize. They fail to understand. And all of these people that's posting all this stuff about Newski right now, you know, all of his, you know, his partners. Y'all ask for this because this clearly could have been avoided. If y'all would have just squashed that beef and been kings that you all supposed to have been and enjoyed your money, help people that you could help and make your money. But you couldn't do that. You were so entwined in this beefing crap and trying to, you know, clout chase and make rap music and over and over and over. And, and it ain't, they ain't learned nothing, y'all. Because like I told you, you know, there's a new song out now. And now they're putting the bloggers in. Okay? So, they not learning anything. They're just keeping going with this, keeping this little ball rolling. So, is this normal to you all? I'm just asking. Because it's not normal to me. That any member of PRE would be liking any post or pictures or whatever that the opposition is putting up, okay? This is this backdoor thing that everybody's talking about. And I do believe that Keith Glock was jealous of Dolph. He really was. I don't care what y'all want to say. They got pictures when they was younger. So what? I got pictures with people when I was younger. They can't stand me. And I ain't done nothing to them. But try to help people. But this is what people do. They will bite the hand that feed them every time. And this is a prime example of that. And Nooski, he put, his mama knew he was a hitter. She looked in his eyes and told the truth. She wished he lied. Something like that, y'all. Okay, y'all? So they putting their mamas in this. You see how dumb this is? And then they got, you know, Straight Drop and JoJo Flat, Splat, whatever, y'all. They mamas coming up on there acting like playing dumb like their kids ain't involved and stuff. Stop playing. People, you know, mothers know when their kids is out here doing stuff they're not supposed to be doing. Okay? And a lot of these kids that's out here doing things, it's coming back to the mothers. Just like Mob Wilson mama taking out. And I know he got to be sick from this right now. But this comes with dealing with particular people. This comes with that. Okay? So they're thinking this is a joke and Key Glock is liking his post. You know, this is not no game. And y'all can sit back and believe Key Glock all y'all want to. But Key Glock seems to be a part of a lot of mess. Okay, y'all? Now, I'm just going to go over, you know, some friends lists, okay, y'all? And show y'all the connections that I've been saying from the start, okay? So, here's, you know, another member of the crew, Shiesty, okay? And y'all understand with the name, okay? Shiesty. He is a part of this little group, Free to Bang. Frito Bang, whatever. He's a part of this little group. And like I've been screaming out loud, Yellow and Trap. They are a part of this little group. 
And they are a part of the ops of Dolph. They are a part of the ops of Mo3. Okay? This is why I tell you they are all entwined in here together. Okay? And the police got enough evidence to tie these guys together. Why are they dragging their feet? So they can take each other out. They don't care. That's what it's looking like. Because if not, they would have a bus right now going through, picking up everybody that's done put out posts and all of this stuff that's involved with this whole crew together. And sooner or later, somebody going to talk. Okay? Here we go, money bag, yo. Here we go, straight drop. Ask yourself this question. Why is Yellow Be Easy on the same list with money bag, yo, straight drop? Look, Kenny. Ain't he a PRE artist, y'all? Good God. Ain't he a PRE artist? CEO Big 30. Now, I think this is the one who is the cousin of the one that was taken out. So ask yourself, why is a pre artist on the same list with these guys? You know why? Because, you know, they all are boys. Allegedly, y'all. They're boys. Okay? Now, here's another list. Did I change it? Did I change it? Oh, Big Unk. Another person that is on the PRE side. This is what I was telling y'all about. These guys are, you know, snakes. Okay? Big Unk and that um, Kenny guy. And... What's his name? Key Glock. How are you all mingling and tingling with the ops? And then you running back and acting like you are all for Dolph. Come on now, y'all. Y'all can tell this to somebody else that want to hear it because I'm not listening. I'm not listening to this. This stuff has been going on since the beginning of time. Backstabbers. That's why they came out with that song. Okay? Bank Road Mafia. Black Youngster. Here we go. Lil, Lil Amigo. Remember I told y'all? I told y'all. I do believe that little beef with Lil Amigo and Key Glock was fake. So that they can have a reason to take Dolph out. I think that was all fake. Because he running in the same circle with these people. Okay? Meek Mill, I'm not surprised. Because Meek Mill is the person that's running around with, you know, Jay-Z right now. They go Big Unk again. Meek Mill is the one that's running around right now with Jay-Z calling their selves going to, um, you know, pass a law. Pass a law. Okay? They want to pass a law so that, you know, these rappers can freely sing about and rap about taking people out. Now, tell me what sense does that make? You know, Jay-Z didn't got so big-headed that he just feel like he can't be touched. He figured, like, you know, when he move around, he got, he got enough money for security and this and that. So he don't care about the communities. I told y'all this, okay? Now, let's get to the crew, okay? I've been telling y'all all these guys hang together, okay? Here we go, yellow. Okay, here we go, trap. And, and, and so gay, yo, over here. Okay, looking at the guys. He can't keep his eyes off of them, okay, y'all? Every video, he's watching them like, which one do I want next? Okay? This whole crew, I told y'all. All of them is connected. All of them is calling their selves, trying to, you know, take over, you know, the street pharmacy gang, okay? It's a takeover that's being taken to place, okay, y'all? And like I told you, I've been telling y'all from the start, who made that Who made that video? Talking about Dolph. He gonna be taken out. I got a bag on him. Mr. Soldier Boy right here. Mr. Sniffy Sniff, okay? Him. Look who's he's with. I told y'all this was all connected in the first place. Yellow Beezy, Trap, and Soldier Boy, they were used, okay? And they used other people, all right? 
let's keep going. I told y'all in the first place. This was this was they supposed to do in the first place. Now this one right here, this one right here, and this one right here. They was a part of this play too, allegedly. Okay, y'all? It's no way in the world that you can keep on being involved in everything. Everything. The same circle of people is involved with both cases. The same circle of bloggers. Ooh, excuse me. That's involved with both cases. This is no coincidence, y'all. And now she wants to open up a Makita's in Dallas. Now, I got some subscribers that said, come on, <laughs> okay? Because they are doll fans. And they want to see your face in Dallas. I keep telling y'all, these people think they can move around freely. They think they can move around freely. But they can't. They can't, y'all. Now, like I said before, it's funny how he called this the last dance. Okay? Because Mo3 used to always do his little dance. Okay? And he used to, you know, talk his talk. And this guy gonna call it the last dance. You know why he called it the last dance? Because he always been a Mo3 hater. And he's been a Dolph hater too. He was there to help set up Dolph. And use Dolph for whatever he could get from Dolph. And then it was on to the next. I told y'all he got a bag on him too. Little do he know it. Now I don't know if he still works for the radio station. Because I don't even listen to this radio station. Or anything like that. Or keep up with this guy like that. But... I want to do the radio station know that this guy has a bag on his head now, okay? And like I said, Mo3 ain't looking at him like that for nothing, okay? And if Dolph was, knew what we knew about this guy, he probably would have been on the other side of him, staring at him, looking at him the same way. These guys are cutthroat snakes, okay? And this, this dummy right here, he wants everybody to believe that, you know, this is innocent right here. The hand sanitizer bottle. That this is innocent. That this don't have nothing to do with street pharmacy. When this has everything to do with street pharmacy. This is why, you know, these guys is taking people out and moving the way they're moving. Because they are trying to take over other people's territories. Okay, y'all? I've been telling y'all this for the longest. Okay? He got caught with this bottle. And he wanted everybody to believe this is hand sanitizer. We, we all know that they are pushing stuff through these fake hand sanitizer bottles. Okay? And, you know, it's being, you know, moved from state to state in their, you know, their trucking business, y'all. The 18-wheeler business that they buying all these trucks so they can move this stuff from state to state. This is who it's been about all along. This is who it's been about all along these two right here they call themselves getting into the music industry they call themselves infiltrating other artists and they call themselves taking over okay and they know their music ain't that good so they're trying to take over the street pharmacy gang y'all this is what they're trying to take over i'm telling you from the start and the people that deals with them, like Death Pyre and all of that, it's a win-win situation for them all. Because, you know, after these artists is taken out, here goes the clothing lines that comes up on Death Pyre's webpage. They got Mo3 sweaters and, you know, t-shirts and all of this stuff. They got King Von t-shirts and sweaters and all this stuff on the web page. And, you know, this is how they make their money. They make their money off of the stream and stuff because their music, you know, starts selling like crazy when they're taken out. So ask yourself this question. Why in the world is Key Glock on the same friends list and stuff as Yellow? Don't worry, I'll wait. I'm going to tell you what I think. I think that, you know, Key Glock been a pun from the start. All of this has been a front. 
that oh he brought key glock brought straight drop to you know Dolph and this and that key glock knew from the start what straight drop was about it's just like when you went to school when you was younger you knew the troublemakers you knew the people that stayed you know to they self you knew this you knew that when you hang around somebody you know how they are and if you bring them to somebody else what intentions do you have for bringing that person around this person ask yourself this question Nobody ever wanted to sign Stray Drop that I know of. If his own crew that he was hanging around with, Moneybag Yo and Yo Gotti, no one signing him, then he must not even been good enough to be an artist. So why would you bring him to Dolph unless you had other intentions? We know you busting out Dolph car windows. And some people say, oh, that was a publicity stunt. But other people are saying, no, it wasn't. And if you go to an old interview and somebody brings up the fact that he bust the windows out and him and Dolph is on the interview and Dolph gets mad all over again, then it wasn't a publicity stunt. He bust those windows out because he was a hater. Okay, y'all? And that is why. That's why he's liking, you know, the ops stuff because he's been in this stuff all along with these guys. My personal opinion, okay? Why ain't the police doing their job? Why ain't they picking up folks, doing some questioning and asking some questions? Why is they just sitting back waiting for the next person to drop? And it's starting to be a joke right now that the police is wants to jump on here and say, contact us if you have any information. For what? You can go and arrest all of the oppositions of Moneybag Yo now? And you're not picking up anybody that got to do with, you know, the other side? It's just like Mo3. Every time an arrest is done, it's on the people that's clo that were close to Mo3. Nothing is getting done with background dancing them. And they're flowing through different spots. And people are coming up to mass. And the police is acting like it didn't happen. All mysterious, the cameras don't work. Or they're in the blind spot. Come on now, y'all. We got to do better than this. This is a bunch of bull crap, okay? So for everybody that's want to run around and say, Key Glock didn't have nothing to do with this, whatever. Okay, y'all? Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching. Peace. Y'all be safe.